Hi, my name is Tobe, and this is a demonstration of a script that I'm sharing with everyone. I want to thank Bobo from Thinkbox Software for helping me out with some questions um, regarding when writing this script. So, what it does say is that it applies a modifier in active when it when you add it. So basically, it doesn't calculate anything. This is very useful when you have a very high poly object and you want to add a modifier but you want to adjust the settings first and before you, you turn on the modifier and before you could get around this by adding a modifier to a very simple object and then turning it off copying it and then pasting it onto your high poly object but this isn't really ideal in my opinion so that's why I decided to write the script so if I'm going to show you just a really quick example and I'm going to add a slice modifier here. So go down and add it and you can see that it takes a few seconds to add it and the slice plane is not where I want it to be. So I, I want to be able to adjust the slice plane before I even have the settings applied. And the way to do that is to use this script. So add modifier inactive, and then you go down and you find the slice modifier, which is here. And you can see that it applied it instantaneously instead of taking those few seconds. That would have taken much longer on a, on a higher poly object. So now I can go into my slice pane and I can scale it up because it applied it a little bit small and rotate it and let's say I wanted it straight down the middle so one more here and now I can apply it if I want to and it will take those few seconds that it did before and therefore I saved time because I was able to adjust the settings beforehand and of course this is just one quick example um, Another example would be that let's say you want to add a turbo smooth that's only active at render time. So again, you would um, you would launch the script and you would add the turbo smooth and then you would just often viewport and then iteration set it to whatever you want. So again. That's another useful scenario, but there are tons of useful scenarios when it comes to high poly objects if you use your imagination a little bit and and I'm sure you've encountered some scenarios where you wish you had this and I, or I hope so at least and um, if you like the script, uh, give me a thumbs up or send me an email or whatever or just use it and uh, hope you appreciate it um, that's it